Hello, I'm Steve with Touch of the Master's Hand, Holy Spirit Ministries. Um, I wanted to talk today about uh, scripture. The Lord's been dealing with me about giving me scripture pretty much every day. Um, sometimes I'll get it in my prayer time early in the morning. Uh, <clears throat> sometimes I'll get it in dreams. I'll give me just the scripture, the whole scripture. But this one was a dream. So, it's John 4, 5, and 6. <clears throat> But, in this dream, well, let me read the scripture and I'll tell you the dream. Okay, so. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born of the water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. You know, it's time for us to... We're spiritual beings, guys. And it's time for us to walk in the spirit. In everything we do. Because all around us in the world seems like chaos and trouble. But Jesus isn't. He's the answer to all the issues. Really. So, and we could talk about many of them. But I'm not, you know, some, some of my other videos do a little bit. But anyhow, um, <clears throat> it's time that we get out of this, because this is one of my most favorite scriptures, and into this, on heart. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. Because this gets us in trouble, guys. This doesn't. Our heart doesn't. Let me try on the right side. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> time to get out of the fleshly realm. I get it. There's distractions and things going on, and kids, and college or whatever, life, you know, you got to fix, fix your car, change your oil in it, or whatever, you know, you got jobs, I understand all that, um, so does the Lord, but every opportunity you get to be in the Spirit, take it, you can even be praying at work, unless if you have a mind-bending job, sometimes no, probably not, um, it's just because it requires so much of your attention. But if you don't, <clears throat> I mean, then you get in the spirit. You stay in the spirit. And whenever you get a chance to steal away the quiet time or the church at prayer or however you can do it. But this is the dream that I had. And in this dream, I saw a cross. And the Lord was specific and explicit that it was a wooden cross like a light brown <clears throat> highlighted all around the edges was a light brilliant, brilliant white light and then I saw three verse four, five, and six oh, I'm up a okay, well, I'm going to up Three, four, five, and six. What? And he took me down this path. <clears throat> but then he said, John. But then he said, There's many other scriptures throughout the Bible. Just look. So Ephesians, one of my most favorite ones. I'm not Ephesians, but Proverbs, four, five, and six. About the trust in the Lord and now again in all your ways. It's one of my most favorite scriptures. So I started looking, and sure enough. A lot of them made sense, so I'm going to kind of do a study on it, and more for me than you guys maybe, but maybe not, but I also look at um, 316, and I'm not, you know, trying to come up with some kind of weird astrology number game or any of that kind of stuff, because I don't believe in all that. There's some significance to them. Look up Revelation 316, look up Matthew 316. Look up Colossians 3.16. Look up Ephesians 3.16. Look up 
Philippians 3.16, Daniel 3.16, Malachi 3.16, and then look up 3, 4, 5, and 6 in those same you know, chapters. Kind of like, wow, well, God. You know, so I'm just, I'm kind of diving in that. But anyhow, that was my dream. That's the scripture for the day. Um, it's time that we just kind of keep our minds focused on the Spirit, guys, so that our heart can stay in tune with Him and get out of this realm of stuff that's going on all around us internet, phones, Facebooks, all this distractive crap that's going on that's buying for your attention. Go to your restaurant. Everybody's got, nobody's talking hardly. Everybody's got their phone up their butt. Sorry, it's not PG. <clears throat> but, you know, I mean, it's just like, you know, we just, there's things vying for our attention. And Jesus is like, come on, guys. Let's talk. Communicate with them. Prayer. Seek God. So, it's just time to get it. Our minds recalibrated, refocused, readjusted as often as possible. To be in the Spirit so that we can know the direction the Lord has for us. So anyhow, please tune into my other videos. Um, got a couple, one awesome book coming up and I got another one that I already wrote um, about visions. If you want a free copy, just email me at steveyoungstrom at yahoo.com. I'll send you one. I promise I won't do anything with your email. I won't send you no solicitation offering, ask for offering, anything. I wouldn't even do anything with it. I'll just send you the book free. I'll trash it after that. <clears throat> so, no obligation, nothing. Just, there it is. The next one coming out is <clears throat> coming out at the end of February, probably. I'm working on it now, right now, as we speak. And it's Jesus Christ in you. The hope of glory. So anyhow, uh, you can email me about that message too. Um, I got some of it already on the on the YouTube channel. But thanks for tuning in. God bless you. Have a great, awesome, wonderful day. Um, please share these videos with others um, or comment on them. Uh, likes, dislikes. Just, you know, I'd like to hear your feedback. So let me know. Thanks. God bless you guys. Have a great, awesome, wonderful day. Uh, kind of a cold, rainy day here in Dallas. So I don't know what your weather is like, but it's kind of kind of crummy, cold up here. So anyhow, God bless you guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I'm gonna try to do as often as I can a scripture day. So just kind of tune in. Thanks. See ya.